Tesla, the electric car company, has a fairly unique lineup of branded accessories. Yeah, they have the normal hats, shirts, and mugs, but also this desktop supercharger for cell phones. Costing $45, I had to buy it so we could take a closer look. Let's get started. A supercharger is a place where electric cars can go to charge up really fast. Tesla says this is an exact miniature replica of the life-size versions. They used the same 3D CAD data file from the life-size superchargers to make the desktop cell phone version, precisely replicating every detail, curve, and surface. Unfortunately, there's no instructions or diagrams in the box, so we're just gonna have to wing this one. Initially, I thought that this $45 accessory had some tech inside of it, but judging by the light weight and lack of documentation, I'm starting to think I was mistaken. The white and red surface are both made from plastic. The red lettering is not inlaid over the surface like the Tesla keycard. The plastic is actually built deep into the charger, like we saw in the Nintendo Switch buttons. Each of the red lettering is its own solid chunk of plastic. Pretty quality stuff. The silver side rails are made from metal. It's the same on both sides. Down at the bottom of the supercharger, we have a strip of double-sided tape, probably for mounting on a desk, since this is a desktop charger, but there's still no sign of technology. The bottom gray plastic pops off after a brief struggle, and then the top white slab of plastic was also able to come loose, revealing a whole lot of nothing inside. It turns out this whole thing is essentially just a model of a supercharger, and interestingly enough, even at that $45 price point, it still makes you supply your own charging cable. I have an extra braided cable laying around, so I'll route this inside the contraption. It has a little indention up at the top where the tip of the cable can rest inside and keep it from falling out. In hindsight, a thinner non-braided cable would be easier to work with and probably fit better inside the housing. You can see how thick the red letters are that poke through the top outer white shell. And the same thing goes for the other side with the red plastic resting inside for the back lettering. It's cool that Tesla went the extra mile for this plastic molding and didn't just slap some red vinyl stickers on top. Thumbs up for the quality, but that's also probably why this thing costs so much. I'll route the cable around this plastic knob like we saw in the Nintendo Classic controllers and then run it through the metal side rails down to the bottom of the supercharger. The metal rails have slits cut into the bottom that orient and hold it tight when the plastic halves are in place. The top of the white plastic slides in and clips down and the gray bottom piece of plastic has to slide over the whole charging cable and clips onto the end, holding things tight, kind of like the cap on a stick of Old Spice. They look almost the same. It works though, as long as the other end of the charging cable is plugged into the wall, it'll charge my phone. It's a rather interesting decoration. Its supercharging powers are homeopathic, and maybe that's why it didn't come with any documentation. But hey, it looks sweet, and I'm down to support a company that I think is pretty cool even if it's only supercharging my quick charge with a placebo effect. If you want one of these overpriced plastic models of your own, I'll leave a link for them in the video description. And also, Tesla just brought back their referral program. So if you end up buying an actual Tesla with my link in the description, we both get 1,000 miles of free supercharging. So thanks for that. I'm probably going to take my charging cord out and just put this thing on a shelf for decoration somewhere. Come hang out with me on Twitter and Instagram. And thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.